Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Arkansas State Indians. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Indians know they're in for a fight tonight, Dick. What are their keys to succeed this evening? Hey, if you ask me, the keys are simple, Brad. First of all, get a hand up in the face of all the outside shooters. Second, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The point guard with the ball. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps in. The land. That's just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Watch your head, young fella. They go into the low block for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Inside. Entry pass in the paint. Tickles the twine. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Gave it up. He unloads a three. Way off target. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. High post screen. Leans in. Kansas are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Trying to feed the low block. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Number three takes the feed. Shoots it off the rim and no good. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Now trying to feed the low block. Goes up for two. And he missed. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They work it back to the outside. Down inside. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Moving it around the perimeter with the fake. 
for the bucket and off the mark. In and out. Number 32 is eager and excited to compete. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. He tries the three. Shots off the mark. The power forward gets the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Number 10 takes the pack. He makes the block. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Going to take some pride on the defensive end. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, they still don't score. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Turns it over. the dribble gives it up tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move in the paint trying to draw some contact can't get the shot to go goes up for two and in and out number three draws the personal With the pair. Misses it. Cashed it in. Ouch! Screen set hard on the defender. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 52 gets the ball. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The ball goes out of bounds. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Number 40, pump fakes. There's a double team waiting there. He fires from long range. He hits the shot. Gave it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. From the top of the circle. Great shot. On the outside. The frustration right there. Looking for a good shot. The Indians have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Great anticipation defensively. Looking for contact. And he scores it off the glass. He 
intercepts it. Pushes it up with a long bomb. Looking for a good shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. The crowd loves this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Can't get the shot to drop. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Time to pick up the defense here now. Steals a pass. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. come with a double team to stop it he shoots from downtown man he used that screen to perfection he used it to get free baby for the good luck puts it up looking for contact makes the shot let's take another look The crowd starting to change. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Way off target. Pushing that basketball. Picked off. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 24 makes a great move to draw the foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Rims off, grabs it. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. He attempts the three, it sticks. Pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Got it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Good fake. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Oh. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. away knocks it down Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block yeah he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Foul shot is not good. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And off the mark. When there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. There's the pick. There's the roll. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Launches away. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. Rejects it. Way off target. He looks at the hoop. Get that sucker out of the game, man. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the shot from the baseline. Another brick, baby. They've been a new arena. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Makes the block. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Kansas are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. With a deep shot from outside. They're having a rough time getting on the drop, lad. They should take to the basket and get some easy hoops. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Got a man in high post in the paint looking for the foul. Contact causes the shot to come off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He bombs from outside. He shows the sweet touch. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. 
Here's the toss back out to the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. On the inside, he fakes the shot. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He shoots from the elbow. Makes it. Take a look right here. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. Great shot block right there. Andrew, good movement on the offensive side. He gets the bucket to fall. Let's face it. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter for the bucket. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. They move it into the front court. Doesn't go. At the end of the first half, the Jayhawks are up by four. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Arkansas State is losing in the battle on the boards in the first half, Dick. Yeah, the opposing team was clearly more committed to rebound than the rock. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. I love it when teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You gotta help your teammate out. You gotta rotate over. They work it around the perimeter. The crowd really admires this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Dumps it in. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The Indians have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Goes up for two. In and out. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, trying to make a spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. High post flashes for the ball handler. Cross court. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's the trap. Kicks it out. Shoots. Rims out. The center handles the feed. And in and out. go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. There's the pick. Arkansas State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Let's it fly. No good. Number 32 is charged with the foul. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. He goes to the line. Hits the first. Misses the second. And the free throw woes continue. This is an embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Picked off. For the bucket. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. In the paint. Jumps into the defender. Easy one. The fake. For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Had a momentary look from three-point land. 
until he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside, he looks for three. He makes the shot. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. Can't get the shot to go. Picks off the pass. Nice fake. I said they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Guru. On the outside. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. He shoots from the top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. Tries for two. Up, easy one. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brown. We've said so many times you have a great post play. You got a chance to really to win. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the opportunity. For the deuce, doesn't go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Shot big. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He looks for three. Sinks the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 10 has pounded on his way up. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Gets his first. Makes the second. That's basic. Gave it up. Number 25 with a tomahawk jam. The center receives the pass. He takes it away. Goes for the aggressive steal. Not only is he applying ball pressure, but looking for the aggressive steal as well. Power forward receives the ball. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. Thanks, Aaron. Nope. Cleans the glass. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Fake. Goes up for two. 
I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Second shot, good. Inside. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Makes it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle to him. He goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. The Indians seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup, Dick. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Picks off the lazy pass. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Arkansas State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a double team waiting there. You can't get away with that. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. They scored nine in a row. Sinks both of them. That's 10 on answer. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. Robs him of the ball. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The shooting guard handles the pass. He gets the bucket to fall. Now 
they'll bring it up. Steals the ball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumped in front to take it away. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. He launches the bomb. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Here's a double team. Stolen ball. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. On the outside, Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Takes the pass in the paint. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. He'll go to the line. Good. for the shot for the bucket no good steals the pass Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment hey they have to keep pushing and see if they can't force a timeout if they can get a score this place is gonna go wild work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart in and out the Indians will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He attempts the three. He comes up empty. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the outside jumper. The shot's off target. The Indians are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Number two picks up the foul. Third team foul. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Right, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. 
Nice fake. He posterized him. Number 32 going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar. You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Wow, look at him rotate over. On the dribble, gives it up. Dump it inside. Strips the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Kansas is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. <laughs> Tries for two. Two with a lay-in. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Gave it up. In the paint. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. The high screen. He dials long distance. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Jump hook from the low block. Off the rim and no good. Defense giving no room. Fake. Steal. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For the deuce. Yes! Control of the ball. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Looks for a three-pointer. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Picks off the pass. Here we go on the break. On the outside. They work it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. There's the trap. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by following Brad. And the clock stopped with a foul. 
As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. To the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Hits the second. You don't need the desperation three. It's a two possession game. to the action. Shot clock is dead. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situation. see the level of energy dick when they come out of this timeout it's a four-point game this one could go either way don't give up your seat too strong and he missed dick you've said it so many times survive and advance well one survived and will advance the other one's going home well the better team won because they protected the basketball they made sure they converted on the free throw line they did all the little intangibles we talked about and that was the difference in the game Kansas opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.